Okay, stream is on. Hi, nice stream. Uh, I am exiting my house because it is not done. <laughs> For whatever reason, Rin, I read that with a comma after tender, so it was just my tender sorry again, and I was like, "What? What is happening?" Apologize to the chicken nuggies. Good <laughs> tender. Okay. Um, just so y'all know, stream is on. Hi again. We're gonna clear first pull. Yeah. Every. Oh, uh, you're a Foscar. What? Whoa. Oh my god! Uh, you're full of surprises! Zeke ocean fishing is still super fucking funny to me. Okay. okay. I but, don't um, have these markers. Sorry uh, for our whack-ass markers. <laughs> food. Hey, I'm gonna eat, eat food. food. Yeah. Okay, they'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I believe. Oh god, my inventory. Um, I can try and pull most- or call most of it. Pull most of it. Hello? Hi. Okay. Don't know why my Discord keybinds weren't working. I've used Discord on this computer before. I don't know. Sometimes they reset randomly. It's done it to me a few times. I'm good now. Hey, like, my Discord volume is super, super low. And hmm. I can't can barely hear, but like in the voice and video setting, it's max. Oh. Huh. And my headphones oh. are like max. Uh, try deleting your character settings and... <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a minute to reset or something? Um, I don't know what's gonna happen. Are we turned up? Is you Discord guys using the right output device? Let me check Microsoft volume control. Oh, let me do that. Give me just that a second. Too. Sorry. Okay. Should have been doing this, but I wasn't in chat or call. Sounds sad. They weren't talking about anything anyway. This cord is like the only thing, though. Whatever, let's just pull. Look Who cares? Like I don't need to hear you guys. I think that he's right. I am. It means you eat food. Like yeah, we eat food and uh, we're potting. Maybe not first pull, but we're potting. I mean, last time first pull we almost cleared, so... Last time first pull was our best pull. It was. Okay, I'm putting up a countdown. I muted in-game sound. It's maybe that one. I hope that doesn't throw you off. Oh, thanks! Hit him. Excuse me. Great light. Great light. Cutters out. Party mid. 
Is uh, Shiva with rotating around? B, safe? Uh, uh, a. Corner A, not corner, but to edge. It's a circle, it has no corner. Go to fire spots. It has infinite corners. South. Prep for tank cluster. Tetters are out. Great white. Party mid. Prep for brand. Out. Get mid to B. We're going to A. Go now. Stack tight on the marker. Ray buffs going out. Move. For it's mid. Headers out. Party mid. It's Shiva. Sprint if you need it. North is safe. Sides by herself. Gather mid. Hitting north, but go to north further. Shadow your east and west. Thank you. Prepare to move. Move it. Why didn't have a tether? What raise? Uh, I killed bird. North Bird before yeah. the tether goes off. Oh, cool. Uh, Hat is taking it. the... The... Macro. Yeah, that'd be like that. We're hitting Elbert right away. Drop the hat. And, uh... Shadow Log. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Okay. As long as we kill it, we could. Alright. Nice. Kill up. Nice. Recovery. Pots up. Great buffs out. Get some mitigation. Rizal. Wyndham, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Game birthday. Game, you know? Ow. Oh, no. That's my breath. Uh, that's true. Yep. Prepare for tank buster. Tetters out. Shadow take this. And you did mitigate. Myself? Yep. I guess yep. not. T for coming. T hatch on DPS. Base them out on the numbers. <coughs> Get in to mid, everyone. Gonna 
gonna dodge Shiva and then I'll call snack or spread. Looking back. Don't forget to um, do your thing. Nitro, whatever it's called. Start missionary. We're stacking after. Aaron. Out and stack. Stay together. Okay. Ah. Idiot. On the fire spots okay. as well as tank under the boss. Everyone else is max melee. Melee's in. Don't get flipped. Range in. Melee's run. Range run. Party stack south on three. Ray buffs going out. Double raid wides. One. Next raid wide. Alright. Come up will be tank busters. Got a little time. Buster now. I don't really. Oh, Sentinel just in time. Oh. Really need to remember to. Um, Mitigation coming up. Firestorm. Casting. Missing adult. Get mitigation. Okay. Range of tanks north. Healer melee south. Rotating uh, left. Oh, wait. Back afterward. Stay together. Yeah, other way. Oh well. Okay, everyone on C, north. Okay. Yeah, okay. Shadow ball. Good. What? It's fine. Heal up. Everyone else on C. I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah, you did. Ow. Oh. Okay. Good. <laughs> on one, stack tight. Moving to two. Go to two. Go to three. Go to four. Go to the dots. Spread out. One second and it's spread out. Spread. I'm dead. Again. Sorry. Or not. Good job, Big everyone. Break white, break white, break white, break white. I will mitigate myself on this one, but. Okay. Thank Go you. into death. Real quick, right? after all four blasts, please make sure you get in quickly for the heals. Okay. them in on the numbers. On tanks and healer, face them in on numbers. If you are one, you're on the cardinals. Two into cards and four in the middle. One, two, three, four. Everyone mid, immediately. Heal up, heal up. Looks good. Mitigating, there's a mid. Everyone centered. Mid, mid, we're baiting plume. We're gonna go right out, and I'll call stack our spread. Out, 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 out. Spread, spread out. I don't know how we did it. Okay, die bombs. Yeah. Oh, Pierce. Oh, no. ah. You tank LB, I think we will do. Could be that. Uh, okay, for healer LBs. Okay, I'll be there, I'll be. Everyone's sensor, evading brand. Voke, immediately. Face north. We're going straight to A. Identify A. Go to A. Pots are back up. Get ready. Move. Towards ley line. Eight. 
double raid wide. One. One more, and then that's the end range. Okay, just DPS now. No more heals. Hey! Shit! Oh my god! <laughs> first pull. First pull. Actually, first pull this time. Uh, good news, Don't guys. Alright, let's take a picture, guys. <laughs> we never have to go in here again! That's not... Oh, Until next time, thank you, Zeke! Oh, we're free! We're free! <laughs> this well, hi, Coco! Thanks for coming! <laughs> oh. You know what? This is really scary. Because... I get to sit in the prof car's lap. Look at those boys go! We're finally free from this fucking bird. How long have y'all been working on this one? Since oh, January. Three months. Oh my we, goodness, well, y'all us... did it really well. We cleared my cat, one. thank you. And I think, like, week three for P2S. Okay. Or something uh, like that. Uh, well, I've cleared a tear, so... Well, good. <laughs> it's not. Okay. All right. Has everybody emoted? I want uh, no, a on. special emo to cool off. Oh, I need to move a little bit away from you, then. Here, I'll move back. Yeah. Uh, hat, move in front of Nitro. Can I yeah. sit? Yeah. If I use an accessory? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I can't. You can't even sit if you're using a fashion accessory. Wow. Oops. But can you use those in here? Maybe not. That's like, I'm gonna put on my devil wings. Um... <laughs> Definitely wasn't gonna do that. Wash out some of the fucking orange in this arena sucks, by the way. Aha! <laughs> Oops. It was, it was the audio mixer, guys. Oh. Ah. Uh, yeah. Like oh, Nitro said. With, with the boys. We can still uh, we also I mean, do that. They're back in town to kill you. <laughs> These boys? Now the boys are back in town. Where are the girls? Oh, no, that's <laughs> Where are the girls? Oh my god. Let's <laughs> oh, oh, try something else. We fucking cleared, guys. Yeah. Just, it just takes a healer. Yep, yeah. Having <laughs> having a healer. <laughs> yeah, healing's important. Turns out, yeah. We we'll just have Zeke join us permanently. <laughs> Are we going into P4? We sh might as well, yeah. Are you we game, Zeke? We can take a few minutes to um, go look at guides real quick. No, we can just fucking go in. Blind, whatever. Yeah, if you want to look, I don't, I don't mind. It is kind of like a lot of learning curve up front, and so you can't really make progress because the mechanic's kind of like a big puzzle. Okay. But it's still neat to see. I was gonna say we can get at least past Act 1, but I forgot about oh the door God, boss. This fight is so gross. The shader's on. <laughs> oh my 
god. Now we get to see, um, Dracula's tits. Hmm? Awesome. All of them? I yeah. mean, oh. if this is the first <laughs> time you've had that opportunity, that's really on you. Um, okay. <coughs> okay. I don't like that all of them pretty much like that. <laughs> Makes it sound like there are uh, many. Um, one Nitro each well, and Renner. Yeah, each will best. Taking pictures. We'll move Let's around. Open Take the pictures. chest, and then we can move over to the boys. Oh, yeah, chests. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dracula's chest. I I almost forgot. No. <laughs> yeah, his <laughs> chesticles. <laughs> uh. I want to know how the monk died at the uh, intermission it was bit. Peter. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. He died for the clear. Yeah. Uh, we, we were all top. We all have to die for the clear. Yeah. If he didn't die, we wouldn't have clear. Yeah. That's why when it happened, <laughs> I said, This is my birthday present to him. <laughs> there are two conditions Hat has to die, and no one, has, no one should mention it. Because once you mention Hat dying, <laughs> that's don't true. Clear. No one mentioned. No one said that it was the clear after I died. <laughs> I distinctly thought about it, and I was just like, I shouldn't say it. We were all thinking it. <laughs> also, happy birthday. Uh, happy birthday, Win. This yeah. this happy is birthday. Birthday. Let me go find a transparent party hat to put on your icon on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Is this actually transparent, or are they faking me out? <laughs> no, that's not sit, that's salute. Oh, we're taking pictures over here. Yeah. I mean, I wish I had, like, a super fancy emote. Can you, you move got money, your don't... fairy cross? I can. Oh, I didn't realize we had all. Uh, yes. Because it will. Like. Mike Wachowski, uh, Eric. <laughs> 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 that boy's been through enough. Don't do this to him. Don't specifically know what that means, but it's funny. You know. I don't. We're still missing uh, Nitro over here. I'm taking pictures of everyone. Is this an actual transparent? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, new source. Oh my god. Oh shit, that got really huge. Why? <laughs> oh. I didn't mean to be facing at this angle, but when I got rid of my fairy, I just turned to this there angle.
Uh, okay. Uh, Behind Zeke would probably be best. Okay. Like, can I redo that? What? I'm gonna. I'm gonna throw flowers with you. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Double flowers. I don't have to, like, multi-angle this shot. Uh... Get all your pictures, because we're not we're never coming back. Nope. <laughs> Done. No one needs pants except Kai. <laughs> um, if I recall correctly, I think Blazing does his re-clears after reset, so I might can steal him for free tickets. If we ever wanted to skip straight to, um... More, but I'd have to ask them. Uh, there are party fighters up, people offering skips before. Uh, Somewhat frequently, anyway. Otherwise known as Wind Day. Sort out loot? Question mark. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Dibs on the mount. Um, mount. So the hat is free to roll on. Uh, I guess all of us can just roll need on the rubberant and the twine. But the um, pants go to me. Pants are Kai. Um, didn't we say someone gets most value from toying? Kuvu needs it. Because I know... Rin has nothing to use her weekly twine on. I but he the twine, except for... E and okay just Shadow. decide who's rolling on the twine not me i can just spend next week on it so i technically need the oh wait i will oh, roll need a i can rubber. use my coin on it next week too so shadow can just take it oh this is the weapon thing the rubber rubber is yeah. for the weapon upgrade yeah oh and then are we just doing free for all on the rubber end? Because none of us are coming back here, so. Uh, uh, it will be a while. Yeah, it'll it'll be a while until the rubber end gets released for. It raised. is the weapon. It's important. Is the tome weapon vis for anybody? No. No. All of us uh, are Asphodelus this year. I see. Do we do we want to like just pass it to whoever like? Does big damage to further big in their damage. 
I would like that to. I would like to do that. Yeah. <laughs> so mere hat. Hey. <laughs> yes. Hi. Either a burst. Nestro's like, but my burst. Give Give me a rubber openers and then never. <laughs> and just swap weapons. Yeah. Yeah. We'll we'll just have shared custody over the rover and. <laughs> Uh, I've I already everything. I already hit need on it, so um, we'll... I guess we can that's fine. Own... It doesn't matter. Just an upgrade for. Everyone. I think we have enough DPS anyway, but it would help if we if people die, and it gives us that little bit of buffer. But don't give it to Hat because he dies. You're right. Put it clear. It's mandated right. to die. Yeah. So should we just need on it or? Yeah, just need on it. Okay. Oh my god. Through Rolled really high. Unacceptable. Sorry. Con Unacceptable. I rolled like a 36, and then uh, I was like, we should just pass on the hat. Someone please um, roll on the hat. And don't let it hit. Oh, there, there we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, did everybody read the twine? Yeah. Oh, I see. I was saying Shadow should take it, but. Shadow taking it. I'll fight, because I don't have anything to immediately upgrade. Better. You could it's have upgraded fine. two pieces next week. It's I fine. already can upgrade two pieces next week. Besides, the then only piece I'm getting next week you would be able to container. use your coins on an alt. I don't know what to tell you. We're not going to hey, let Shadow hey, hold on. Don't worry about it. Everyone, hold on. This is important. Yes, Hat, but... please go repair. <laughs> it's a no, door boss. The main thing is, like, it's, it's a right door boss. Actually, <laughs> this four percent will save like, my life. <laughs> but no, the main thing is, like, I have no tomb gear that can be upgraded at the moment at all. Like, I, I'm going to buy my pants next week and then immediately upgrade it. The following week, I'm going to buy either head or hands, immediately upgrade, because I will have a coin to just immediately upgrade it. Listen, everyone has a plan, okay? Everyone else has anything to upgrade to do it and it upgrade. It doesn't it doesn't matter it you. Yeah, it's just my main thing is I, I have to wait. I can't yeah. upgrade it until next week. And I already can just flat out upgrade it next week. So I'd rather it go to people that have gear that can be upgraded. Yep. Agreed. Like, I'll be fine. I'm behind, but I'll be fine. Understandable. Have a nice day. <laughs> I could have used the twine on... Uh, what do I have left to upgrade my hands? Yes, Ren. Um, for casting... Well, Summoner and Red Mage needs to ask for Della's hat. Give me, give me just one sec. He's got to make sure he repairs. No, I I did already. I just want to... He's got to make sure he has to repair. Incredible. Okay. I bought two mounts. That's a present for clearing. <laughs> for myself. Just to clarify. Understandable. <laughs> what? He literally well, just was, took more damage than everyone. Yeah, I was curious, oh. so I scrolled up on my Why? battle log and they just took a lot of damage. Just, it just crit me. He used blood for blood. <laughs> blood for the blood only. God. That fight doesn't even give bone sticks. Hey, it's Cat. Hi, Cat. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't even make sense because my gear is like pretty good too, so it's not like. Yeah. Oh, it's magic. Damage. Problem. It's magic damage. Uh, you take more magic damage. Oh shit. Than everyone else. More magic damage. Than everyone else. Oh fuck. <laughs> is that really? Just fucking. <laughs> I, really I can't. I can't believe Hat is like just. 
getting roasted this entire tier because it's all magic damage. <laughs> Uh, that's not if true. Eric's that big of a fight is mostly physical thing. damage. I feel like Eric's, a lot yeah. Of magic. yeah. But I have things. Eric's is physical. There's, I've gone I through mean, the logs to check. Yeah, there's it doesn't only, deal damage anyway. It's fine. There's only a that I can use John Arion in in E because it's mostly magical. It's mostly physical and missionary. Cool. Oh, okay, I'm pretty God. much ready now. You know? This gross is Biddy's time. Let's fucking go! I, I hate that that's how we're going to refer to this. <laughs> I already know. Just this wait is gonna be until consistent. there's a mechanic to call out that way. <sighs> Alright. There's gonna be a few things to explain. Alrighty. I'm watching the cutscene though. Oh, take your time. Titty ain't even out. Not, Not yet. yet. <laughs> I'm just gonna rip off shirt. Haven't you seen draw? Haven't you seen what? Dracula? Oh, Dracula. I don't remember that. Now we're finally at the fight with the good music. Yeah. Um, you might be Barely. traumatized. <laughs> oh. Yeah, perhaps. <laughs> Do you have markers, Wyndham? I don't. Besides, it's you just a thriller. Oh, yeah, that's thank you. Yeah. Here's Eco Trooper. Yeah, um, I have markers. But first thing first, let's talk about him. Alright. So, one of the revolving mechanic is tether and debuff, right? Um, so, what's gonna happen is he'll do like a, a series of AOE that indicates whether or not one group will get tether or or debuff. So what what that will go on, uh, the, the way the groups uh, split is tanks and healer and DPS. Um, so what we do is we have to um, bait some of his mechanics in order f to take the tethers, one group will have to be like within his hitbox between him and the other group. Sorry, one more time. Um, so he's gonna send out tethers, right? Yes. It's, it's gonna go on four people. Right. It's either gonna be all DPS or all tanks and healers. Right. In order for us to bait and for the correct group to grab the tether, mm -hmm. that tether group needs to be between him and the um, the group, the other group. So, okay. for example, he's A. The group that's taking the tether needs to be B, and everyone else needs to be C to ensure that yeah, like P3 tank buster, but everyone uh, is going to be four tethers. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, for example, if I call. Um, DPS tether, all DPS will stack inside his hitbox between him and the other group. Okay. The other group is right outside of his hitbox max melee range to ensure that they can still hit the boss and far enough away to, um, to not take the tether. Okay. So that's tether. The reason why the other group, another reason why the other group is far away from the tether group is they also get what, um, what is called debuffs, right? So he's gonna put debuff on two people. It's gonna be like elegant rot if you did. Oh um, my god, why? One. Nobody wants that mechanic. <laughs> so he's gonna put um, debuffs on two people. Um, so for example, if I call DPS debuff, it's gonna go on two DPS and two DPS will not have it, uh -huh. right? What you want to do is pass the debuff between all of you, all the DPS, right? But keep it away from the tanks and healer. Okay. So that's why the other um, the part, the group that's not getting tether is gonna stay um, here. But the caveat is only one person should be getting the debuff at a time, right? So what we'll do is he's gonna cast the debuff 
it's gonna like go on you. It's gonna look like a sh shield circling you. Mm -hmm. Hot potato, yeah, it's it's kind of hot potato, but everyone needs to have it. Um, so debuff's gonna go on two people. It's very easy to tell because there's like a shield around you. Those two people will go ahead and immediately stack um, on the um, uh, max melee range. The other two people will hover around, right, until the debuff goes out, and then one person will go in and then um, take it, and then the other person goes in and take it. So now that way it doesn't get bounced around and people get immune to it. How far what? How far into the fight does that Immediately. happen? That, this yeah, is I like guess the first this is first two mechanics of this fight. Okay. Yeah. God, my brain. Um, um, it's the not same... actually that right. bad shadow, but it yeah. just sounds this... like a lot. The wow. same group of people can get both tether and debuff. So tanks and healer can get tethers and debuff, right? Mm -hmm. So in which case, um, since they are getting the tether, they're going to be on here, right? And since they're also getting debuff, we identify the two people that have the debuff. Those two people immediately stand here. The two people that don't have the debuff wait and then do one after another pickup. Okay. So debuff middle. And after they pick up, but do the people who had it before move back out? Or what do you mean? Um, no, like, they they stay together because, okay. for example, if, if they're to, if they're also taking tether, they need to take tether and like take it away from the group. Oh, okay, let's do gotcha, a pull. Gotcha. Let's do yeah, a pull and, and let's look at the this. mechanic. Yep. Oh, it's also kind of like uh, Titania. Uh, Zeke, Just can you the... put up the markers again, please? And let me save Thank this you. real quick. I'll save them as a backup. All right. Thank you. Does the diva like, pop an AOE on you, too? Um, I don't remember. I just know the tether gets uh, hit with an AOE around him. I don't okay. think so. Just wondering if, like, it's bad to stand next to the person that got the diva. Um, just... So you guys know what indicates who has tether and who has debuff will be by uh, um, his cast, right? He's going to do an AOE cast that's going to put red lines on people. Don't don't think of those as tether. Those are the indicator. And the people that have the red lines will not um, do the first mechanic. So I'll, I'll, I'll explain it as we go. So we can do a pull and see. Yeah. Okay, so you can visibly see the debuff. That's, yeah. Nothing is going to make sense until How we see something. How close can we add him? Just right there. That's too far. <laughs> oh, Before okay, the here. third okay. diamond. Alrighty. Third diamond. So we could like just on me. He just completely ignored me. Fuck you, Dracon card. Okay, raid wide first. <laughs> it's always a raid wide. Oh yeah, you first. can you can prep uh you can prep um uh, uh, spread low. Oh yeah, attacks for people, attacks for people, us for people, hit, stack on the butt, pick up. So visually, um first thing first, let's have people not like stack on top of each other that way we see the tether um the, the indicator that way you guys can tell uh, I'll park myself here, huh? but, okay. but stay in the bubble yeah he's gonna do the boss's aoe points. and blood rakes deal about 95 percent of your current health oh, that's fine. if you're under here No pressure to hit your DPS buttons. Here comes the raid wide. This one gets covered by the uh, pre shield. Okay, see those tethers? Those indicates who will not have tether next. So DPS is gonna have tethers. DPS will be between the boss and the other party. This is much further in the future. DPS also is going to do the debuffs, okay? okay. 
Oh, Tanks and healer stack behind the boss in melee range, max melee range. Behind? Oh. DPS spread out? Oh, okay. stack the... So it looks like I have it, so I'm gonna be in tether range. And Kai... What? Yeah, Nitro, you, you can't... Uh, I grabbed the zero hat. Yeah. I was trying to get it from Nitro, but... Great point. That just means do not take tether. Uh, I need to, oh, sorry. I, I think yeah. I, yeah, yeah. So I let's start over. Um, one thing is, like, you... you you can't position him like you just gotta be south. Oh, and that's ow. a um, that's that gonna hurt. have to be a true north. Oh, that oh. hurt. So if tanks and or the, if group two, the one without tethers, stands directly south in like one point, and then the other four stand right in front, the tethers will go on all four. Yes. Directly. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, so when I say a group has debuff they want to go ahead and spread out that's what that way the debuffs don't spread prematurely okay Fresh. A, a lot of groups it takes quite a few repetitions to see everything and a lot of the confusion comes from i don't understand what's happening with tethers if you just delete that half of the mechanic and focus on understanding how the debuff gets applied and passed it will make a lot more sense because that's the thing you do first every time mm. Um, so whoever has the debuff, whoever I call uh, for debuff, spread out, right? That way we can identify, identify, okay, debuff is on Hat and Rin, for example. Hat and Rin, go to your places and then Wyndham, go in and get the debuff. Kai, go in and get debuff, like that. Where okay. would those places be, just spread from the group? Um, if you have debuff only, you are max melee. If you have debuff and tether, you are inside the box's hitbox. Um, so, like, are are these marks on the floor, like, the ones inside Not in this one, space. two, three, four, like a good um, indicator of, of, like, where we should spread? Uh, no. no. I would... <laughs> So, okay, give me a second. It just, it's, it's not like a true, it just be apart from each other so that you don't pass tether. But for example, like say the boss is here at A and um, we'll say um, C is the group that's for debuff, right? So we just like hover around like here, here, here. That way you can go in and get the debuff. Um, quickly, right? So, for example, if one and two, or one of, uh, let's say one and two got debuffed, they kind of go immediately onto C, and then um, four go, and D go, and then that, that's. I'm sorry, I'm terrible at explaining. We'll figure it out. Yeah, but we gotta keep. Yeah, we gotta get go some right stuff. Again, but... Yeah. Again, no pressure to do any DPS if you just want to look at the screen and look at the indicators. Okay, first thing is the red wire. Okay, blood break is gonna do, it's gonna tell us who gets tethered. So, tanks and healer have tethered. They will stack inside the boss's hitbox. Okay, and tanks and healer also have debuffs, so spread out. Spread out, tanks and healer. Let's see. Okay. Debuff on uh, uh, what's your name, Ross. Yes. Will Ross, go in. Stack on Ross, for, except for DPS. 
sorry. I'm, God. DPS should have been stacking south. Bottom. Yeah, DPS should have stacked south because we didn't have anything. Yeah. If you try to separate everyone, it's actually you run out of time trying to solve the mechanic. Hmm. So I saw a debuff on Cheese too, Arya. Um, Six people will get debuff, but only debuff. only the two people. All the it. If I say um, tanks and healer debuff, that means all the DPS will get debuff and two of the tanks and healer pair. Okay. Yeah. Zeke, what, do you have a suggestion for? Yeah. Um. It it's structured very simply where the the second blood rake, the second red tethers that attack four people, uh, is always tanks and heals, or it's always all DPS. And if you are the second group. All four of you stack as tight as possible on the butt of the boss at like max melee range, and you just stack up. And it is okay to pass the poisons. And the reason you do that is because the boss, when he sends out those debuffs, he only ever puts two on that group of four. He'll never put all four on four DPS, he'll put two on two DPS. And so you trick the system by stacking all four DPS up, because when you put two on two DPS, uh, it'll automatically pass to the other two DPS. So now you have two DPS with immunity, you have two DPS with a debuff, and then out of your tanks and healers, two of them don't have a debuff. Those are the only two people that have to go and do pickups, and they know exactly where to go, and it's the stack. Yeah. So, so what we'll do is, leave. since um, we're learning the first mechanic, I'm just going to use the A and B as the indicator for Tether and indicator for the other group. Okay. You don't want, so if I'm understanding your, your question right, or your suggestion right, you don't want all six people to stack together. You want... Are you talking about for the initial group up? Nitro, are you talking about DPS needs to be in, DPS group up? You don't really have to worry that much about like how exactly this group is here, that group is there. The number one priority is identifying the four people that are chosen for the debuff with the, the second blood rate to stack as tight as possible. That is number one priority. Once you're stacked, the boss sends out buffs. People do pickups. When you're done picking up all the buffs, uh, all eight people are now valid for the mechanic. You can't screw it up anymore, and now you can move people wherever you want to go get tethered. So the movement is no longer strict. Okay. Okay. So, um, for example, see, if I say tanks and healer are debuffed, are the tanks are are they good to stack with the DPS as well? I thought you don't want them. Uh, typically, you want to call the instruction for the people on what they need to do. So, for example, that last pool, DPS were chosen for the second blood rake. So the instruction you would verbally call is four DPS stack on the blood. And then that way the four DPS are stacking. The other four people are not stacking. They're just waiting to see if they need to go in and do the pickup. And the way you do the pickup is, as a healer, if I got to go pick it up from the DPS, I walk in, get it, and then I make sure I get it, and then I walk out, because I don't want to accidentally pass it. Okay, so my other group does pick up on their own set, so tanks and healer pick up from the other two tanks and healer. Right, that, this method trivializes it, because you cut out a lot of like the middleman system, and it's just like very automatic, only two people have I to see. do the mechanic. Okay. So six people 
There will never be a group of six people. Right, but uh, it's fine. if you'd like, I could try doing the calls on the pool, and just so you can see the order of operations. Okay. Yeah. But I, I don't want to take over any amount of learning that you want to do. If, if you would like I, to do that instead, I think I I know something, but I just want to see it. So we'll have yeah. to. There's still a few pools. Yeah. Here comes the tether that matters. Whoever gets tethered goes and stacks on alpha. Hanks and heals on alpha. Stack as tight as possible. DPS on B. DPS spread out. DPS must spread out. No overlapping. Watch your debuff DPS. If you don't get one, come pick it up. One at a time. Monk and Black Mage. Yep. Rin on me. On B. The DPS have to pick up from the tanks and healers because the tanks and oh. healers are the ones. Oh. Yeah, it, it's okay. Okay, these are correct. Tanks and healers spread out. Ross, move up so you don't hit us. Two tanks and healers will die. Good attempt. Do we want to reset until we learn that mechanic? Um, or do we want to keep going? We're just about to die anyway. Because the, what's what's after that is Tank Buster. Gotcha. We'll have to talk about that. We take it. Whether or not we invoke it or. Oh, the stacked. Um, the stacked second group is the one that two two gets immunity, two gets the stacks, and then the other people take the stacks from them. Right. And the okay. reason you're doing that is because when the boss puts a debuff on the tanks and healers, he's claiming you cannot have this debuff in the future, which is why the DPS have to go save that group. Got it. It could be twisted the other way around, right? So it's 50 50. Wait, so in that last poll, what um, Narity and I had to do was go to the A group instead of going to the other DPS for the debuff? Correct. You would go to the A group one at a time. You can't okay. intersect. Gotcha. All right. And, um, pri we'll do a priority system. Um, this will help with. Uh, part two later on as well. So. You won't be able to do that for this mechanic because the tanks and healers also have to have a system. You can just kind of like feel it out over time, like let the melee do it first. Yeah. Um, so usually we, usually we would, well not usually, I would like to do like melee in first and then range in. If two melees, for example two tanks get it, we'll have priority on one of them. So like Nitro will go first, then Shadow go. Oh, I see. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. I can just go first no matter what. Yeah, you go first no matter what. we successfully um, complete the debuff poison stuff, that's where we are going to work on doing the tethers, but we'll see if we can get that far. stack on alpha. Tanks and healers spread out. 
and then we're going to take turns. Tanks and healers, only two of us go pick up. DPS, stay put. Nitro first. Ross. And then Scholar, and then Tanks and Heals all the way at A, everyone else at Bravo. Tanks and Heals at A, everyone else at Bravo. Yeah, and then spread the out. That was kind of late, but hey, you did it. Got it. Right one. Clear. <laughs> Tank Buster is coming up next. Is this the share? It is a, a folk swap for an inborn. Just heal Nitro, heal yourself up. Good job. You should be big time. And now the hardest mechanic in the entire raid team is coming up. Oh. Nice. Alright. What I usually do is we'll get a preposition to fire and lightning. So we'll pull the boss up to fire and lightning. That way, we have uptime, everyone's here. Is thunder, so we're staying on the edge, and it's spread out. So we're gonna go ahead and pre-spread out, but stay on the edge as you move. I'm just talking through. Yeah. Okay. Then, well, so everyone in the center is gonna do sword on B. So oh, we don't have B anymore. So use not back prevention on B. Yeah. Okay. We won't worry about that. Let's clear the first mechanic. <laughs> we. And the tank I think we did. Sure. Um, so the way Zeke explained it and is um, um, providing the mechanic is yes. Let's let's do that first. Um, is not the way that I've been doing it. So I'm gonna ask him to just keep calling that mechanic out. Okay. Yeah. Please and thank uh, you. Sure. Yeah, I want the other group to. I want I want it to switch and see if we can do it. Oh yeah, for sure. There are four combinations. Oh, oh, that's right. Because uh, it's gonna put the debuffs on the tanks and heals, and then maybe tanks and heals have to get tethers, or maybe DPS have to get tethers. Um, and then it can be the other way around. Put the debuff on the DPS, maybe they get tethers, maybe they don't. And it's the first tether that you see that determines who gets the tethers in the future. Got it. So I'll actually call that out this time, because last time we weren't prepared and we just kind of did it, and it worked. That time was DPS, DPS, right? Um, I don't remember. I usually just try to do it by instructions because I always get confused Got it. with a call out like DPS do everything. Like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'll pay attention. <laughs> if you're watching the party list during the debuff pickup and you see all eight people has successfully done it, that means the mechanic's over and you can prepare for tethers. That's what I look for. Yeah, as a DPS, I don't look at that. All right, in the future, DPS will have to be doing tethers. In the future. This group stacks on the butt, DPS on the butt, tanks and heals around them to do pickup. DPS stacked tight on the butt at Alpha. On Alpha. Tanks and heals spread out a little bit, so you need to go. It's Zeke and the Dark Knight. Dark Knight first, and then Zeke. Who's getting who's getting tethers? Is it DPS? Yes. DPS tether. The other party go to B. Yep. DPS pick up tether. Uh, oh. Nice. Somehow got it. <laughs> yeah, it's a fun rhythm. Once you do the pickup, then. The party that doesn't do tethers uh, gets really far back to, to force the tethers in one direction. Nitro's gonna info. Oh, I guess. You can still do it. Okay, yeah. Now heal yourself back. Okay. Yeah, how much do you it takes three I've never three seen this. Okay. It's Holy cow. cow. I, I did put an ad low in there. I, I, it takes three GCDs and I can heal myself. That's Don't have to heal me. Wait, whoa, okay. Identify fire and lightning and pull him there. Um, fire lightning on me. Pull himself. Uh, he is very stubborn. Oh wow, that was a really good pull. 
Made the sprint. Okay, go to middle. We're gonna get knocked back into healer groups. Uh, <laughs> we haven't established uh, that yet. <laughs> One healer group south, the other healer group north of the box. <laughs> oh, I tried. <laughs> Um, he's getting go to B. We're not, I'm not even gonna. Where's worry. fucking B? <laughs> B is. I'm not worried about this. Oh, we didn't have a B. I'm gonna put the other way marks back up. Yeah. Yeah. Brown doesn't mean shit uh, when you get knocked in the spike. Okay. <laughs> So basically, group A can just stack on the diamond between four and three, and the other group can be in the diamond behind that, right in front of us. Right, you'll want to stack max melee range. In the future yep. of this fight, the boss will be elsewhere, and you have to do this again, so it's usually just right on the rear. Okay. <coughs> yeah, the whoever gets the first set of red lines are ineligible to take tethers. So the other group has to do the tethers. Um, you, let's go ahead and split up for healer groups. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. There's going to be healer group one and healer group two. Healer group one will be um, on the boss. Healer group two will be on the edge. Oh, okay, on the boss. Hat, hat, go to okay. group one. Yeah, okay, sure. There you go. I'm saying, like, I want the group with Wyndham. Wyndham's, like, my safety but or uh, safety. Small? My safety How small. How do you even identify me? In Zeke is easier to see. Uh, I look bird eye view and locate you. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I do that for P3S. <laughs> you saw me following you like a lost puppy. Um, red lines are opposite, uh, Ross. If you get a red line, you don't do the thing. This boss has a very common theme of, I'm going to disable you from doing a future mechanic and other people have to do it for you. And this applies throughout the whole fight. Okay. Yeah, so sometimes when we're grouping up and we're passing the debuffs, like our, our location's a little scattered and that's okay. Um, but once like all of the pickups are done and we get free movement, that's when we can decide, okay, the people who don't want tethers, take a step back. And the people who do want tethers, go, go inside the boss because they originate from the boss. Uh, Zeke's calling to fight, so I'm gonna eat. Stuff my face while uh, yeah, please eat food. <laughs> and I'm not birthday food. Yes, either. Oh, you're a little guy, and it's your birthday. <laughs> I have cake in my fridge. I'll eat some in celebration. I'm gonna put it. On. It's carrot cake. Bread cake. and healers will get tethered in the far future. DPS will stack up. So DPS stack tightly. We're going to do two pickups and then DPS are going to take a step back. Dark Knight and Scholar, if you don't have anything. Yep, Scholar. Right, and then DPS take a step back. 
Yes, you take the tether. Very good. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Nitro, um, tank buster and tent tent. It's called elegant evisceration. Ma. Nice. Thankfully, before, uh, because otherwise, I wouldn't have had. Alright, you gotta pull him fire and lightning. You gotta move real quick because he's stubborn. The first element's always lightning or water. Water is a knockback. Go to the middle. And poison. We're gonna have to get knocked and then spread a bit. Don't stand on the same element because you get. Be on the edge, east. A knockback prevention now, oh. arm's length, sure cast. Kind of on the door. Understood. Okay. So in Sept, you don't want to be on the same uh, same element, like on the same square as the element uh, is yeah. going out, because it'll do a. Um, uh, uh, damage. Uh, damage. He will do a damage. Okay. And then he does the other two. Right. And in between all of that, the boss will go center and make his cape glowy or make his sword glowy. And you can kind of ignore that and always just pretend like it's going to be the cape, which is a big knockback wherever he jumps. You might remember that from normal. And so that's where you want to use arms length and shirt cast. The first two mechanics resolve very quickly in succession, like within a GCD. Um, the second set of mechanics, the third and fourth one, there's like eight seconds delay. So you have a lot more time. When does he do the knockback? Is that after, or it's right after the third mechanic? Correct. As soon as the third mechanic's done, the knockback will occur, or a sword swipe. Okay, and then the fourth, finally. When the lines went out, I did say, okay, so I want to grab a tether, and then I forgot that by the time the tether was needed. <laughs> Yeah, there's plenty of time they like go back and get the tethers. It's never a rush. The hard part is passing the debuffs in the beginning. Yeah. So what you can do um, is walk from south to north and walk through the group that has the debuff. And then you'll be in front of them for the tether. That works. And if you don't take the tether, walk up from the south side to the group and then we'll just walk back south. Oh god, ready check real. <coughs> Fairy go. DPS will be getting the tether in the future. So that means when we're done doing pickups, tanks and healers want to step back. You don't want to go back to the front, you want to step back. Tanks and healers group up on the butt. DPS spread out a little. DPS watch to see if you get a debuff icon. If you don't, that means you got to pick up. Monkey dancer. Rin go. Back in front for the tether. DPS healers take a step back. Dancer still has to pick up a buff. It. I'm gonna give it to you. Very 
Very nice. Easy. Back up for heels. Yeah, picking up can be very finicky. But like, if you don't pick up and you spread, oh. like, finagle we it. got Aria. Oh, we got Aria. Well, Come Aria had. Was that just damage? Yeah, you were at 90% health, which is why you died. I may have forgotten the heal. Don't tell me. Huh. I have to remember to save that. Me. Well, I'm D, Delta. You see where I'm standing right here? If it's lightning and you're standing on me, you will die. Oh, it's water this time. All right, this is a knockback into a spread. I'm gonna go this way this time. Lightning means get away from the center. South means Charlie. Don't be on the glowy square. And then eight seconds later, oh, it's Kate, so that means you should knock back prevention. Oh, oh, okay. Use it like before the third mechanic goes off. Yeah. Uh, it can be tricky because sometimes the third element is water, and like you might be tempted to use knockback for the water but then it might wear off too soon and you'll die to the cape. Position yourself to get that the, the big spread thing, or cone, rather. Is that Sword is the big cone. So we need to go to where he's going. Go to, so if I say sword on C, you will go to C, but don't be on C, but like be on the side of C. Gotcha. Right? Yeah. That's the one thing that I missed. I went for the wrong one. The hardest part about Pinax is figuring out how to spread quickly. That's what kills a lot of groups, even experience like 10 week in a row clear groups. So like finding a good system and getting used to how people move is the hardest part. We'll talk about it later, but range can usually either position themselves to get knocked back towards the unsafe, quote unquote, or um, cool. go ahead and pre position um, themselves during the cast. But yeah. Tanks and heels will yep. be doing tethers in the future. Drop that into you. Yeah. This group will stack on the butt. DPS stack height on the butt. When we're done with pickups, DPS will take a step back. Be careful not to stack too tight. Uh, tanks heels. Okay, shadow back. Yeah. Nitro first, Russ. And then tanks and heals can show up in front because we have to get the tethers and then spread out. Okay, everyone got one. Okay. Cool. Is this right? Okay. Don't heal me. I don't need to paint that one. You probably think the rave light. Thank you. Pull to fire lightning. Hey. 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 It's okay. It's hey. It's a uh, anime. Lightning or water, let's see what it is. Lightning, be on the wall, don't be on the glowy panel. Fire, as soon as lightning goes off, we have to go to lightning panel. Come back, we have to go to lightning. Post guys. Now. Yeah. Oops, lightning, let's play into healer groups. Hi, Zeke. 
do this part. Knock back east, knock back to Bravo. After you get knocked back, hit arm blink, sure cast immediately. Walk to oh, oh. oh. Lads. How do you know? Now spread. Oh, basically. Spread. I'm spread. And then Tank Buster will follow. Why did I get up? Why would I do this? Uh, Usually you hologram this one, yeah. Yeah. I just need this to see the timing. It's a uh, short. Oh, you can like keep going like for a little bit. This is AOE. Still, like, Water is safe. Water will be safe. I'll get the black mage. And this is where we use the other waymarks. Why do we? I don't we use one, two, three, four. Now we do clocks. Oh. Yeah, so now we want the boss centered and facing north. And everyone orients north somehow around the that boss. That is not north. A is. A is north. We got a lot of time. I don't know what north does. North is an illusion. Uh, I've got weird buffs not... and debuffs. Well, don't yeah. worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, there's a way we can do it to trivialize. Oh, I'm good. Lucky. I love trivialization. <laughs> Love to hear that we're trivializing at least two. Oh, is it standing two. in the circle? Oh, I popped. Oh, ash. Oh. Oh, I don't want to pop that one. No. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Shiny. I run into or. I had acting tank on. Does that mean I needed to take the healer one instead? Um, no, here. Let's no, get clocks. We're going to get. Okay, let's just... Later when that expires. I, um, okay. I was reading the debuff because I was like, I'm not going to live. Me too. <laughs> I think I misunderstood. So we want to alternate range tank, range tank, I mean range melee, range melee. Uh, um, okay. What's going to happen is, let's go ahead and have the range on into cards. Okay. Kai, you count as a melee. I know I do. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to tell me that. Shadow, will you go to, um, what is this? Three uh, o'clock? B. B uh, o'clock. Three o'clock, yeah. So what's going to happen is, so right? Least? Everyone is going to get a tether. Everyone's going to get a roll, whatever. We trivialize that by having two people just going to one and then rotate a counterclock spot. Okay. So, oh. Uh... Counterclock. I said counterclock, didn't I? I'm dumb. You're correct. So. Yeah. Oh. Counterclock. Yeah. So. Tanks and heels group up together is the goal. Okay. So uh, go, go back to your clocks. Go back to your clocks. If you're at an intercardinal, go counterclockwise to a cardinal. Close. Someone's got to be with the monk. Wyndham's got to be with the monk. Is that counterclockwise? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. I don't know clocks. I have a Fair. phone. I can teach you how to read an analog phone. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Brain what a nice, like... lengthy discussion. <laughs> All right. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead. Had and I are going to go north and take that tether. And then we're going to go rotate and take the next uh, clockwise tether. The range are going to go out and pop the orbs, so that way the melee can stay and hitting the boss. It's emerald weapon. Yeah. King Snatcher. So we pop the cardinals uh, <coughs> orbs first, and then we pop the next clockwise inter, um, intercard. Oh is god, is it a stack too? Oh, it's a two people oh, mechanic. Got it. Hate my life. They're huge. <coughs> they are. Oh, so like me and Ren would go across the side. Yes. Okay. And then rotate here. Then Rin rotate? will be popping yeah. for you. Yeah. Okay. And the reason that oh. works is if you look at the Scholar and the Paladin, the orb that attaches to them is going to be the fake Scholar orb and fake Paladin orb or whatever, and the DPS have to pop those. That's why you run through, so the bard and the dancer will come over here and eat the scholar orb and the paladin orb. That's Wait, the goal. Wait, we go... Cardinals? Across? Cardinals across? 
And then yeah. clockwise. Clockwise one. And then clockwise. Pop across and okay. clockwise. I'm just, I just said to I just said to men. Yeah. But, so are, where I'm going. You I hope you understand it, because I'm following you. Okay. Uh, I so, think so. Go back to your spots real quick. Everyone go back to your clocks first. Okay. Um Red, just come down here a little bit. Into your group. Um so go into your pairs. Stand with your person. If now we're gonna go pick up. So me and Ren will go across. Shadow and Ross, you will also go across. Right? Okay, I get it now. Thank you, yes. guys. And then go clockwise. Yep. Then... Exactly. Yeah. And then and then when all the orbs are popped, you have to remember an element color that was safe that happened in the past. Yeah. It was water that time, right? It was yes. water that time. Yep. This, um, so... Okay, so what you do is you take the Gunbreaker class icon and you f- you mirror it. What? Ross, please. Don't. <laughs> um, Ross, I'm so... going to take the Gunbreaker icon and stab you with it. <laughs> <laughs> um, just so you know, there's a raid why um, happening because popping... The orb is one one um, big damage, popping another orb, one more damage, and mm-hmm. then when we get on the panel, the element panel, that's another, so that's triple damage. Oh, hello! <coughs> and one question, one mechanic back. How do you know where he's going to go for sword or cape? Um, literally just it'll it. say in the cast if it's like northerly shift, easterly shift, etc, yeah. etc. The casts oh. are the same from normal. Oh, that's annoying because I don't know where normal I'll call it. So you just you listen to me and... Yeah, I'll try to remember where the, where the markers are. Just make sure you know where your A, B, C, D are. North yeah. is between yeah. one and two. That's my problem. Oh, where one will be, yeah. Yeah, where one will be. Okay. Yeah. Some... Was... Sorry, go ahead, Zeke. Oh, I was just going to say uh, planning how people position themselves for every combination of elements during Pinax is like a really good activity outside of raid time because it's a lot of like, we want to be here, you want to be there, and you don't have to actively practice it, you just need to have a plan. There's a, a lot of combinations, and it gets really annoying. Yeah. Um, so what we can do is pre- preset position, mm-hmm. and then we'll go to like around that place, right? So this is, let's say, this um, it's spread. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm still eating. So if it's spread, like of course the range are gonna go like boom all the way out right so even if it's knockback we can position ourselves to get knocked back like the fuck away from um, the melee group so for example um, if we're getting knocked back to um, south and then we have to spread afterward what I would do is I get I'll position myself to get knocked back to D-ish and then I'll walk into north area that way this whole south area is clear for the melees to position themselves, right? And um, yeah, the melees can pick their uh, one, two, three, four spot around the boss. It's good that we only have like three melees technically, or two if um, Shadow is in her uh, range combo. That's for poison spread you're talking about, right? Mm-hmm, for poison spread. For lightning, we don't actually have to spread for that, right? I think I misunderstood that. Um, lightning, you just have to be on the edge. So, for example, if it's lightning and then spread afterward, 
what I will do usually is I'll go ahead and walk along the edge so that way I'm safe from lightning, right? Yeah. And I'm also pre-spreading for um, poison. Okay, so Oops. right after lightning goes off, I'll probably want to move in, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. However that works. Whether I shoulder tackle or... I I'm afraid of shoulder tackling because I know Nitro is also going to plunge, so... <laughs> I might just walk in like this. I know we have this mechanic down, but I want to share this anyways. Because... Hmm. So, um, and then if it's, for example, lightning and fire, right? So the lightning um, tile will explode. So we want to be on fire, right? Once it explodes, we walk into it and then do our um, healer stack fire mechanic. If it's lightning and fire, you don't want to be far away. You want to be close. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I kind of wasn't listening for a little bit because I was organizing a note mm -hmm. on That's something. Fine. Ask a question. <laughs> um, I'm just going to pull a few things okay. again, yeah. and then um, I'll ask Let's you questions if I have them. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I, I like pin in theory. I, I think each part of it is pretty clear. It's almost a perfect mechanic. The problem is poison happens too quickly on some sets, and it becomes frustrating. Simply preposition. <laughs> Simply be a range. Yeah, the fact that you can't do that one reactively, etc. Yeah. All right, the new butt is between three and four way marks. It's DPS will be doing the tether in the future, yeah. Do you want to call? Uh, I can stop, no. I don't mind. Oh, no, sorry. Okay. okay, no, it's fine, it's fine. This group will stack between three and four. DPS stack between three and four. Everyone else away from them. Tanks and heals will pick up. Only two of us have to pick up. Here it comes. Shadow first. Tanks and heals make your way to the back when you're Run. done. <laughs> oh boy. It's Tanks and heals stack tight. Yeah, take headers, walk them away. Yep. Okay, gather up for him. Thank you. Alright, I'm done. I'm not very good at calling Pinax if you want to do that. I got it. See? Okay. We'll see. up to mid. It's a knockback. So knockback into spread. Melee get knockback to C. Everyone else go where? Okay, spread out. Sorry, window. It's okay. Uh, go mid first. Go to B. On the edge of B. Arms length. Knockback. Yep. Okay. Get on water. Heal the groups. Goodbye, Scholar. Tank Buster's coming. <laughs> so Dodge the white mage. It's fine. Oh, we're all dead. I wasn't even watching myself be left because oh, I was trying to figure out if I could raise Shadow. Safe is fire. I, like, stacked with Zeke in the first thing, so my brain was like, that's who you're stacking with. And I'm like... No, that's not right, actually. <laughs> You're muted, Nitro. Let's just go another pull. 
As the Euros relative to Kai. That was the only important thing. Dubious important. this new living dead thing I don't have to do anything you if you like it nitro loves it it makes me feel very powerful you get to be a warrior for 10 seconds DPS will be doing tethers in the future DPS will stack up. Afterwards, DPS will be doing tethers. Uh, shadow. shadow first. Then deal with south. Deep nix. And then go south. Take tether, move him away. Spread, please. Don't kill each other. Facing the north. Do not have to do anything. My GCD is just kind of long. Yeah, they rework White Mage. I have to burn Lily for DPS game. Oh. <laughs> B. Go south. Let's see. It's pretty fun. Yeah. Takes a lot of getting used to. All right, water. The mid. Get knocked back. And spread afterward. Knock back and spread. Don't be on the green top. There you go. Don't get spread. Spread out. Good job. Get mid. I'll call to save area. Go to A. And his sword, so be on the side of A. Um, I agreed. I wanted more. After the healer stack? Yep. Go to your healer group. Seek. And then pull boss center. It's going to be real tight. Nice. Powered and Boke. Boke and invulnerable. I didn't have King's Hands on, that's all. Oh. Fire. Fire. <laughs> Fire will be safe. So, orient the boss north, and let's get in our clock positions that we planned out. Like, okay, no, orient. Uh, yeah, yeah keep off center, keep off center. Yeah, yeah I, I'm We good. have a lot of um, time. Shadow south, I think. Oh, wait, no, never mind, never mind. No, you are. This You're right. Fine. Yeah. Just pretend the boss is facing north, and you'll want to be max melee to trick the orb into tethering to you. That's the goal. So step one will be go to your buddy pair, which is clockwise. Step two is go across and pop an orb. And then step three, you'll go clockwise and eat the second orb. Wait, wait. Alright, go pair up, across, eat one orb. Wait for heal, eat second orb, go to fire. 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 Is it orb there? I'm scared. Yeah. Had you went counter. Alright, good attempt. So. Oh, that was. No, that's clockwise. You go. Hmm? Well, you killed me, Garo. <laughs> no. You didn't uh... eat orb with me. I did. <laughs> I was rain? with you the whole time. We ate our orbs. We ate uh, our north orb. Okay, so the range yeah. is popping the orbs, right? Mm -hmm. Going clockwise. And we're taking those you together. Yes, you cannot pop an orb solo. It will okay. kill you. Making sure. They yeah, are massive. I see that. What happened there was just that 
on this side, there was a healer orb that needed to be popped. Um, and uh, I had to run over and pop it. But at the same time, for some reason, Hat ran all the way down there. We were done with our orb at North. Could we have just stayed there? Um, Hat, you get doom if you get hit again. Yeah, so that you was where my air are was, here. So after I popped my orb, I went there. And then you guys go to northeast, but you don't come all the way down south. Okay. When does you are the safe quadrant here. explode, or everything but the safe quadrant explode? After I'm sure it's after all the balls. The boss is casting some move. It starts with the letter P E. I forget what it's called. But when that cat's bar is done, if you're not on the right color, you're dead. Okay. So we have until then. I'll just stay in my quadrant until until that resolves. Yeah, I just went. I just went to fire too early. Rin did uh, BRB a few minutes. Yeah. <coughs> We, we have gotten unfortunate. Water poison is the hardest one to do, and we keep getting that first. Well, that's good, though, because if we learn to do the hardest thing, then we can fuck up on the easy thing. Every time. This is true. Oh, I guess while we're waiting real quick, um, I think we saw it once where we had lightning and fire as the first two elements, and we were standing at lightning and fire. And it's like a real quick movement, but the goal is you want to just stand on fire, like yeah. right at the border. Yeah. And as soon as you see the lightning pulse go off, you run to the lightning side and then stack with your healer. And healer number one goes kind of towards the center. Healer number two stays against the wall. But you got to be real quick because that fire explosion happens almost immediately. Okay. All at once. Oh, this and one go. isn't that long. Okay. I see. Sorry, I'm looking at the timeline for this fight. Yeah. What are we, like two-thirds of the way through? Uh, um, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> you have to the, learn, you have to do the, the debuff and tether thing again. This, but, uh, with, with like a gimmick, so and then you do one more set of pine axes, and then you're done. So I posted posting the first half timeline and like how would you kill me or almost through the first column basically oh wow seven Quite. minutes isn't bad yeah or, that's part one I mean, though i mean door boss but seven <laughs> seven minutes like when we're getting to enrage prog seven minutes is gonna feel a lot better than fucking 13 uh, yeah. Jesus fuck that fight uh, yeah. Cool fight. But fight. And never again. Yeah. Never again. Um uh, I'll post the timeline for part two already so I don't have to do it later. Here. Halfway. Welcome back. Shadow just left us. Oh, I can only assume you're the same person. I finished the next. And over the reason of burning eyes. Wow. Yeah. Is that a slip of the tongue? Fucked up. I just bought a troll mount and uh, Alcos, the, the bird mount or whatever. Rats. Happy birthday. Yay! 25 mil down the drain. Because I'm not using it. Oh. <coughs> but I do have 184 mounts now. Fish is brain food. Brains are fish food. Buggle gum? Buggle gum? Is it cricket flavor? Uh -oh. Who's here? 
you are. Wait, oh, no, everyone's here. Are you, like, oh, sitting shadow, here shadow. trying how to read <laughs> keyboard smash? Or sugar for rivers, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's okay. how you pronounce that. Yeah. Um, it's in a dictionary anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Putting up a counter. Oh, you can get it. Nitro. I need to have a talk with your microphone. She's trying to have a talk I mean, that's what she's doing every day. Talk with their microphone. Ross. Yes? Please. Please, we're being serious here. <laughs> Don't ask him nicely, he'll do it. I'm sorry. I'll never joke again, you guys. I need that better or not. I know good. it's good for you. DPS in case of... DPS will be doing tethers. Got it. DPS staff tight. Tanks and heals will pick up, and then DPS will do tethers. Nitro first. Walk south. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Now you can come south. Yeah. Got it. Hello. Hey. Okay. Well. Uh, I tried. <laughs> I just wanted to see Only one person died. Wouldn't have grabbed the tether off of me. I don't have swift. Okay. It's okay. I'm not. Oh my god. Yeah, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Power of <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, this man is like this because he's horny for Laha Freya. Did we forget he this? Is. We he did is. not forget this. I we did not know that, that but we did power yeah. manifested itself. Sprint, Nitro, sprint. This man is why we found out that Laha Freya hey, fucks. Hey. God, <laughs> I hate that we find that out every raid. <laughs> what the fuck? Be on every fire? Raid? We're spreading, spread. so can we spread? I'm not moving. Uh, melee can stay there, because you can spread in the lightning. <laughs> I just kept going, Rin, but, you know. Oh, we did. Delta. This sword be on the side of the D marker. Knock back, be on the side of the D. Oh, that is tricky. Healer, healer groups. Healer groups get off fire. Healer groups get off fire. Bye. Too long. Oh, I tried. I tried. I <laughs> There's evidence that you tried. <laughs> I can't uh, find no oh, I can't. I can't. No, not you. <laughs> Help. Oh, God. Oh, I'm dead. I, I thought attack. we were wiping. It's fine. Just wipe it. We'll, we'll start over. Yeah, um, you, you can vote any time during the fourth Pinex. No, oh. my brain for some reason just shut down. And I legitimately thought we were wiping. That's fine, you were doing mechanics. Um, Kai, do you want to be in group one? Because you're technically melee. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. okay so me and Rin would be swapping. Yep, Rin, you're in group yeah. two. My brain has been, like, automatically moving back towards center anyway, so it would be, uh... Yeah. I'm See, yes, that is the thing, Nitro. Group two, like, doesn't move, but unless Kai can reprogram her brain. I can probably. It's just a matter of actually getting used to, like, uh, doing that. Okay. I guess Rin swap back with her and she'll be group two. Yeah. If she dies, she dies. Actually, no, it's Ross that will die. If she dies, Ross dies. <laughs> Are you really friends if you haven't died together? Dark. Yeah. Let's not all make suicide packs. 
You never watch Sayonara, yeah, that's 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 the most sensei. No. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Uh, the title literally translates to Goodbye Despair Sensei. <laughs> the show is actually very visually interesting, but it's, uh, I don't know if I'd recommend it to people, actually. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Uh, it. What are you guys talking about? That is a daddy. Play. That is not a twink. You're talking about Ross's co-worker. Yeah, my oh, co-worker is about neither a twink nor a daddy. We're not talking about this Dracula fuck in front of us. Is he a Dracula bear if he's not a twink or a daddy? He's not a This is an awful conversation. Wow, you why are you homophobic? You I'm not answering that. I'm call with... Uh, DPS oh, cutter DPS later. Feathers. Okay. For the gay man and several pansexuals, I don't know what to tell you. Answer the question, man. That does not obligate me to answer the question. I right. will fucking DPS? kill that. Or, yeah. Yes, that go. DPS will take cutter after a second. Um, Shadow in. Shadow first. Then Zeke. Behind the DPS, please. Take your tether and spread them out. I'll probably. Okay, good. Thank Buster. I like the strats. Yeah, it's comfy. I love the strat of Nitro heal for stuff. Wait, why are you still taking damage with the red? You take damage with the red. It's it's just it prevents you from dying to things that oh. happen after you finish healing yourself. But you oh. still can drop to one and you don't get your heal. So See? I Beta. you actually don't want to hit me early. Got it. Okay. Oh, you? <laughs> Sorry, I distracted you. Uh, get knocked back. Get into spread. Knock back into spread. Spread out. Oh, we're going to kill each other again. Sorry. Uh, mid. Knock Charlie. back to C. You have to come go to Charlie immediately. Yeah, go to edge C. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, that's not a knock back. Yeah, I was calling the cape. Yeah, the, the cape sword, if you just always assume it's cape and you always hit knockback, you can do it for both, no matter which one it is. Yeah, go to see the knockback. It's probably yeah. better phrasing, but it's fine. We could maintain our P2S call out of use it. <laughs> Go to C, then use it. That yeah. one always throws yeah. me off because it's right after hold your burst. <laughs> hold your burst. Use it. <laughs> <laughs> Understood, handsome himbo. <laughs> That is not Whoa. buff enough to be a himbo. Hold up. No, I'm not. <laughs> Also, a man that likes math that much does not qualify as a himbo to begin with. You can be a dumb mathematician. That's true. You can. Striking dummy. He's a monk, so he's striking, <laughs> and he's an idiot, so he's a dummy. Rude. It, it's with love. Can you just put up the countdown? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Trap Nitro. Uh, uh, I think I'm actually just gonna move for mechanics this way. Okay. Oh, that's not my top one. You gonna do the Mander view? I can. Which would you like? 
the original or the remix? Hanks and Healer on Tether later. DPS would do debuff. These guys spread out a little bit. Hat go first. And then stack behind the deep attack behind and have tanks and healers. Sorry. Yeah, DPS get all the way back. Yep. Good. Tanks can stay on the boss, make a triangle. Yeah. Raid wide. That went off late, that's my bad. We didn't die. Tankbuster 1. We didn't die, Tank yeah. Two. Yeah, optimism. Hey, she's alive. Okay, watch for red and blue. Fire and lightning. On D, Delta. Damn, Nitro. Fast. If I'm paying attention. <laughs> Zoom is. Zoomies. Okay, go center. Get knocked back. Into healer groups. Get knocked towards lightning, Delta. Yeah. Be on stay off of fire. Healer groups on lightning. Close enough. Get into mid. Go to B edge. Use your knockback prevention. Free spread. Free spread. Avoid poison. You cannot be on poison. Oh, right. Tank buster's coming up soon. I'll get the rest. Sorry, Hat. Ow. Oh, I didn't see you there. Oh, him mid shadow and in <laughs> No, bold. yeah, I didn't see you until it was too late. Everyone in bubble. Stack real tight between two and three. Okay. Yeah, just let him come to you. Uh, lightning. Lightning for later. Good recovery. Yep. Go to your uh, clock spots and pre-position. Plenty, plenty of time. Plenty of time. Yeah, I can even hit his positionals. I think he might be on the wrong spot. I am. Different. When the timing to move to your partner is as soon as you get tethered to your orb, then you're free to move to your partner and then go across. You're ready, here it comes soon. Hey, what? But look out. Yeah, I'll take the first one. Uh, and then. Up the and then first one. Thunder? Oh. Come the thunder. Ah! Oh. I died on thunder. Disgusting. I also died on thunder. I think technically my foot was in the middle. Um, Shadow, it is not a matter of like you pop the first one, I pop the second one because they both damage both of us. It's just mm -hmm. like you stay in so you can keep hitting the boss. I pop it. I move in to heal, and then I pop the other one, and you like rotate a little bit to still be in range oh, of it. Oh, I thought it was because of the dunes. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I think we need to be doing that whole mechanic a little bit faster so that they're getting popped further out the same way as when we were first learning Emerald Weapon. That was about good speed, because you can you have a little bit of time between the first pop and the second pop to receive healing and wait, and then go get your other code. Okay. Just be aware if you are melee, like, you, you also have to be pivoting around and try to, like, angle yourself correctly, because you don't want to get hit by someone else's orb on accident. And for practice, as melee, you can just go with your partner and pop the orb just to see the mechanic, and then once you feel comfy with it, then you can try and get uptime. Put a marker on these, okay. He knows where I am. 
Like that? Yes, that's the marker. Now I posted. I'm gonna turn my name off. Um, I think Nitro that specifically tank healers need to be on one side and DPS need to be on the other. Because of how orbs are on the Oh, the healing range really isn't an issue for that part. It's just getting used to it. I basically save my entire toolkit just for orbs because of how hard it hits, and you can combo that with the other healers. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was thinking as we went through that that like I had used heals I didn't need to be using, and then I didn't have what I wanted when it came to it. Who was asking me about my um range combo? Oh, I know it was Wyndham. What mechanic was it you were inspired? It was for spread, so during the pin X. My um, combo is usually on cooldown during that. Okay. So you have to be in melee range with a hat and nitro as well. Uh. Um... Did we ever decide for melee where the melee people are going to stand? <coughs> or spread that mechanic? It's still so working out for us, but okay. um, then I won't worry about it. Two of us, I think. So, okay. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I think, I think I'm we've not worried about it. For it. That's your problem. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, I've been going opposite Nitro, so that when we both back close, the... yes, all at once, but watch out. And Rin, since you're going all the way out for spread, I'm going to go medium range. Are you talking about the tether also spread? Watch that, um, I think that was poison spread we were talking. About. Poison spread, yeah. yeah. Ah. Okay. Oh, prep nitro. Prep nitro. I have ten seconds before we use tapping. Well, I'm okay. I think I got confused because I had to move up and I was like, can I? 
feather with this? Yeah. 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 B, beta. B. B on fire. And spread out. Pre-spread. Keep to the edge. Careful. Get mid. We're getting knocked back to A. Don't be on water. Use your knockback. Get on water. Healing groups on water. Oh no. Sorry, Pete. Oh. That's like going oh. back. Oh. I'm trying to hold we all die. I died anyway. <laughs> What a good death. Yeah, um, someone move it in and we'll save it. We can just move it in on, yeah, the diamonds. Uh, let me this. I was wondering how I survived the, to the water knockback, but it must have been paid that time. I accidentally got closed afterwards. <laughs> When, when we're doing the debuff pickup, uh, if you watch your own debuff, like you have a little poison dot, right? There's two debuffs, the poison dot, and then you get the immunity later. Once you receive the immunity, you can't screw up the mechanic from that point forward. So you're right. free to like go ahead and move back if that's where you need to go or wherever, because like you can't interact with the mechanic anymore and you're safe. Yeah, there are no other people pass Correct. Yeah, because I just ran straight through there to grab the tether. And I was like, you can't do that. And I was like, you can't. Watch me. <laughs> Yeah, when the, when the debuff pickups are done, uh, where you want to be is either stay on the butt or you want to be further back behind the butt. You don't want to go anywhere else because we want everyone as condensed as possible. <laughs> yeah, I'm used to doing yeah. it um, another way. So you risk um, picking up and screwing the other group. Oh yeah, there are stairs behind us. Reprog. Is there a ready check? Because I'm ready. Sorry, I was looking away, but I'm ready. Is there, ready there is now. Ready, ready check is real. Ready check ready. move too quickly. You have to stop on the group to pick up the, the poison. Ah. Uh, yeah, sure. It's going to hurt. Ow. <laughs> hey. That's full. Look, nice Reset job. it. Yep. Whee! Did yours not get past? Is that what happened? Right, so I had a buff. I believe um, the dancer walked through me to attempt to pick it up, but it didn't count. Uh, and so what you can do if you were in charge of picking up a debuff, stand on top of the group, watch your debuff bar, make sure you receive it, and once you see it on your bar, then you're allowed to move out. 
that way you guarantee know that you've received it and you're participating in the mechanic. Get your participation trophy. Yeah, it's like red and green dots or something like that. <coughs> I also thought I saw it on red. I know I had it. I waited for it, but... That's just a receptacle for cursed speaker. Oh, okay. That's a cool feature that not existed. Grab Nitro. DPS taking tether. DPS taking debuffs. Takes the healer stack up. Kai first. Cat, no. Grin. Move up and take Tattered. We're gonna have someone dead again. The DPS intersected. I will res. Can you vote? I think that's my fault. I went in regardless of It's okay. You can still uh, hollow this. And it'll be okay. You stand on. No. Why? I clicked. Oh, you're in stance. <laughs> I'm just gonna run into the wall. Okay. I like that. Sometimes, because I click through my hotbar so quickly and press the button, it didn't register I clicked the button. <laughs> so, is what happened that the person got the debuff from a wrong person? Yeah. Uh, the... I went into the group by accident. I had yeah. the debuff already. So, in, in, in that one, I believe the two DPS that had to go pick it up were Dancer and Black Mage. And I don't remember who did it in what order, but something happened where the Black Mage passed it to someone else that wasn't supposed to get it. And the Black happened? Mage received immunity, which means we failed. Um, I'm not sure what happened uh, there. I know that Hat went in first, and then I went in to wait for it, and then I moved out, but... The Monk went in when we they, he, they shouldn't have. That, yeah, yeah, that I could be another another causation. Either way, who might be wrong? Yeah, things to watch out for is when you go pick it up, you want to go in, wait to get the buff, leave, and as soon as that person leaves, that's the okay for the next person to go. You can't you can't go in while the DPS is still in there. It takes a little getting used to, but it's great that you get to practice it now because it comes up again. Yeah, thank goodness it's not a six minutes in <laughs> crazy mechanic. It's not bad. At least it's a forgiving mechanic. You'll find some other way to think about it. EPS tethers. DPS everything, DPS debuffs as well, takes it into a stack up. Hat 
go in first. Now I go in, everyone's back uh, between. So tanks and heels take a step back. DPS get in front. Tanks and heels don't move at all. That's it. Get in for heels. Center, get knocked back. Knock back into healer groups, be on lightning. Get in healer groups. Get middle. Go to edge of A. Be on the side of A. Knock back Free center. spread out. And then spread out for poison. Don't go on poison tile. Invoke Paladin. Nice. Yeah, Invoke. Careful, way. watch out. Careful, it's AoE. Oh, Careful. It's AoE, I forgot. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> uh, I'll heal, just don't act. I'm just sitting here, like, directionally like, challenging. I don't know where A is. What did say? I'm getting the res. Reorient, north. Facing A. Uh, pull the boss a little bit south and then re- Oh, that's actually going to be impossible. Never mind. I can't see anything. <laughs> Be careful with uptime. Box. This is deceiving. Don't be max melee range. Pretend like the boss is centered and be at that distance. You don't have to be there yet. It's after blood rate. All right, take a step back, wait for the tethers. Go. Come in for heals. Wait a second. Heal. Second tethers, orbs, second orbs. Lightning, lightning. Uh, uh, that? Or uh, uh, yeah, the orbit three was a little late. Yeah. Not bad. Uh, so if we survive to this point, the goal is you want to pull the boss Wait. to alpha. Oh, uh, don't worry about it. The boss would be at alpha for this part. You want the boss at alpha. Oh no. Yes. Two people have a tank debuff that they need to. Uh, so you remember how in the very beginning of the fight, he puts four tethers on people to make them ineligible to participate in the follow-up mechanic? That's what he's doing here, except he's using towers. He's putting down four towers and says, at that time, what, it showed no tank, no heal in the tower, right? So DPS have to be in the tower. That makes DPS ineligible for the tethers in the future. Ah. But I, we don't have to talk about it. We can do that one in the moment, because it's the same callouts as what we practiced here in the beginning. It's the same thing. Uh, questions about orbs? Um, so when we run across, in our side, we've had problems with, like, getting clipped. Um, so when we go out, I'm our fake melee, so can I stay put and, uh, our dancer can run further out and pop the orb there? And it if should be to. able to hit both of us, pretty fucking huge. Yeah, that's what I do. Okay. I stand right because on what's been happening on our side, I, this isn't like a call out for you or anything, right? by the way, just off my observation. I will stop here after we come over, and Rin will also stop. So the orb gets too get close. Pop. Yeah. And 
so Hat and Wyndham will have popped theirs already, but ours will not have gone off, so we'll get hit by two. And then I have to run over and grab the third one, which does three and puts Doom on us. I think you'll just generally want to make a beeline to it. Yeah. Uh, if you're the if you're the popper. Right. That's why I was just making sure what we're supposed to do there, because I I was also under the impression that Rin was supposed to run out and pop it uh, right away, and I could like stay max melee or something and just start casting. But the goal is to pop the orbs as soon as possible. So once you've okay. been assigned, you want to run through and pop as soon as possible, but you can't mm -hmm. do it unless both of you are there to soak it. So that's the only like time limiter. Right. Okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure that I was understanding that right, because I was watching really closely what happened there, so... Okay, um, I think that just clarifies what, what I wanted to know for that part. I like these cardinal waymarks because they also show you the limit for lightning. If you are on the waymark, you will die of lightning. So you oh, want to be behind it. Uh -huh. Yeah, if you were standing here at the waymark, you're going to take like a third of your HP and damage or half. So if you're at the wall, you take nothing. We've been doing it right, but the only thing I'm uneasy about is the fire stacks. Because um, there's no set place for them to go, I just kind of reactively go over to wherever you are. Oh, let me, show, let me show that real quick. Um, so if, if, if we have water from one and we're getting knocked back, because we've gotten knocked back fire, um, we want to get knocked into the lightning panel. So let's say Bravo is the lightning panel. So number two, the scholar is going to get knocked here and just stay here. And me, I'm going to try and run up and sit right there in the middle. That way, you always know it's going to be away from number two. Okay. That's also more or less what I've been trying to do, is just get knocked back and not move. Yeah. Okay. That checks out, because I, I go in instinctively as well, so... Yeah. Right. This is the pug strategy as well. They, they do it the same way. It's worked out somehow. But it's just it's just intuitive. It's good. Thank you. God. You both used it at the same time, so it looked like the tank stance just swapped. You did. Tank swap. First, then Ross. DPS Tanks back up. Heels. Tanks and heels come up for tethers. Spread out. Good. Alright, 
get it for heals. And Buster 1. And Buster 2. I feel like I just went to my, um, holy combo. If you want, uh, you can use this time to put tank stance on. That helps remind you to have to pick up the boss later. Be on fire. We're gonna go into lightning and healer group. You ready? Now. Yo, and healer groups. Don't be on fire. Oh. Go in middle. Knock the Delta. Protect the D. Delta. Don't get in our back. Arms. Oops. Wow. Right out. Yeah, I didn't watch for that part. Uh, uh, that was a new combo. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rob. <clears throat> um, right. I was... I got knocked Don't. back to B and was totally fine. Is there a reason for that? We survived. We were the chosen. Yeah, because you got knocked back by water, right? And then you got knocked back opposite from Cape. Cape doesn't kill you. It's just a huge knockback. Okay. Well, generally, you want to use the water to push you towards wherever the boss is going to jump, and then pop knockback for prevention after the water knocks you. So the Cape won't kill you. And the reason you do that, it, it's just a good habit to always go where the boss is in case he does sword, so you don't like get lost. Right. Uh, give me one second. Let me get some headache medicine. Alright. Shadow.exe stopped working. One of the tricky parts of doing fire lightning, which is what we had there, is when you're against the wall and you need to hurry and get to your healer stack, is if you accidentally, like, take a little bit too long to react and you end up, say, right here, you get sandwiched between both healer stacks. It gives you the phone and then one shots you. you. Gotta be real fast. Maybe that's a good place to sprint. Yes. The middle of the tile, it does um, overtime damage. So the middle. don't be on it. For oh, right, this exact spot. Yep. Oh, like, always? Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> when it, when the, when that tile is going off, like, when it has the column, whatever, yeah. Yeah, you can see the little bubbling stuff come up from the center of each tile. If you sit in it, it, it applies a dot worth of damage. It won't kill you, but the stack afterwards might. Mm. Say it out loud. Stack up, DPS stack up. Nitro first. Then Ross. 
you guys are taking care. fire and go ahead and spread you can go in the lightning too ready move yeah all right oh okay. yeah middle knock, knock back to d use your knockback healer group healer stacks oh. invoke make sure pal with paladins main tank Go in mid. Yep, yeah. Just stay right be in away the from, Be away from shadow. <laughs> okay. And then just pull in metal. And uh, water. Water. Nitra, let me have this little practice trying to learn how to position them properly for you late and you take them back just so I can get used to the squares. Yeah, a lot of the time here after Blood Rake is when you want to be in your correct clock position. And we'll want a lot of good mitigation, a lot of shields afterwards. It's a good place for Missionary Veil, too. And all of this is after Blood Rake. the res. That was just HP, I think. One more AoE is coming. Move the boss north to Alpha. Very fast. Very fast. All the way against the wall. Ignore, ignore all of this. Everyone come to the butt. And we're going to do the tether pickup. So don't go to the tower first. First get the tethers. And then go to your towers. DPS, DPS get in. Tether. Tanks and heals are getting tethers. DPS are getting towers because tanks oh, and heals can't I, do I towers. That's yeah. yeah, fine. Oh, <laughs> towers. Did we, assign, <laughs> did we assign these? We yeah, have. we didn't. Uh, you can oh. do dark fire positions to just automatically quickly assign them if you want. Nice. That Love that. Work out to TP on A and I'd be on one for that. Yeah. Ross and I are on four. That part there is the second part as part of this fight because of the way the tethers go out. So if, uh, when we enter that part of the fight, the boss is pretty much where the boss is now, right? Just facing north. And the tower is going to spawn at like one and two. So if you say in that example, the DPS went to tower one and two, a tether is going to come out of the boss and shoot towards the DPS at one and two, which makes it really hard for everyone to pick up all four tethers and protect mm. people. So what you want to do is have everyone group up in the center and wait. The four people who need the tethers will go get them, and then the other four people go to their tower. And you'll spread the tethers out um, along the north wall. So like the two tanks would be at AB, and the two healers will be at CD. And the so DPS are, can do the same spread. Are the people that get blood rakes not related to that part? There is no blood rakes during all of that. It's the tower people is, is what it is. I had, are you talking about how everyone had the red line? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 
Oh, that you can just ignore. That's irrelevant from here on out. Okay. <laughs> That's why we all stack instead of one group stacking. Right. Uh, so he's going to do the tether thing here first, and then we group up. Uh, AoE happens, and then he does the, the poison thing again, the debuff, but he combos it with the towers. And that one's much, much easier, but we will eventually resolve it the same way. The four people who have to stack go stack on this spot. We do pickups, and then we do tethers, just like we did in the beginning. Okay. Um, one last good pull. And that is the final new mechanic of the fight. Guys, we almost got... Oops. Too soon. We've almost uh, finished part one. We're god gamers. Uh, DPS tether. Get stack up. Nitro first. Then Ross. Alright, get behind us. DPS tech tethers out. Tank Buster. One. Two. Fire Edge. We're gonna walk into Lightning in a second. Healer group. Get ready? No. Into Lightning. Healer groups. Okay. Get middle. Get knockback to A. Use your knockback? Not yet. Now. Spread out. Stop. I'll res. Red, I forgot it. It's Stand in the hat. We have time. It yeah, hasn't gone off yet. Okay. Yeah. Tank Buster's coming. <coughs> Be away from Shadow. Please, please, get away from me. One. Two. Save. Oh, okay. uh, let me just... If he wants to move, then he does. Fire. Fire. So... Is this right? It needs to be a little bit more towards A. That was good. He, he is very stubborn. He cast quite a few spells. I think we can adjust behind Yeah. Take a step back to the orbs. Get ready to move. Go. No. Fire. Light. Fire. 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 North. All the way north. Stack and behind him. Check the towers. 
to tell you who picks up the tethers. If towers show a DPS, that means DPS pick up tethers. DPS are picking up tethers. DPS move forward. Very good. Everyone else in the tower, we need a tank up there. Come back to the center on the boss's rear. Keep the boss where he is. We're going to get one AOE. And then we're going to do it again. There just won't be any tethers. Okay, cool. DPS tether first. Remember that for later. DPS will be doing tethers in the future. All right, these are just towers. If you get in a tower, that means you're going to have to stack up on the butt. All right. Duty oh. failed. Are you serious? <laughs> Oh, I forgot about time. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I said one last good pull. Too that was good. a very good pull, actually. Yeah. Oh my god. That was insane. Alright. Good work, yeah, guys. We <laughs> Thank you oh, so much god. for subbing. That was yeah, super great, great help, Z. Thanks for teaching us that, um... <laughs> the whole first that thing really. that trivialized. Yeah, I'm glad we one shot Phoenix because then we got to spend so much time learning the door yeah. boss. Yeah. I mean, you all learned it really, really fast, by the way. That was insane, base. Oh my gosh. We're also pretty good about picking money, things uh, up. But it... Zeke, you sound fucking adorable. Uh, yeah. I was actually also thinking Zeke's voice is really, like, nice to listen to. <laughs> You guys are creepers. I feel like I we were sound pretty... sensitive, dude. <laughs> I feel like we were pretty consistent about picking things up anyway, or about executing at that. Yeah, I, I, it's not too hard of a mechanic. It's just, you know, figuring out what to do. Um, and uh, it was explained in a very easy under to understand why. Yeah. Oh. Goodness. But yeah, that was very good. We actually made it a lot further in that than uh, I thought we would. <laughs> okay. Um. So, for next week, um, I would say watch a guide anyway, if you have any questions or anything, um, you know, just put them in the server and uh, we can go over stuff on the weekend. Um, the VOD will be on my uh, channel, so I'll just drop that in the server, I guess, since uh, I'm sure people have questions or um. would like to review something. Are we asking, crossing fingers, that Zeke will come with us for the rest of this, or are we searching for uh, someone else for this fight? I, I am Zeke right now. Well, I'm I'm around the help, um, with the exception that this upcoming Tuesday, the ultimate is launching, right? So my schedule on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays is packed. Uh. Oh, from okay. 7 to 10 Pacific. But other than that, like, if you want to run on Fridays or weekends, I can help anytime. All right. Okay. It's just that Wednesday date, but okay. Uh, but we do, we could ask you if we need a hand on Fridays, which is good to know. Yeah, I'm usually free Friday. I don't think my group is planning on doing Ultimate on Fridays, but like, Maybe everyone's like, oh, I can make room in my schedule, so I wouldn't say it's a guaranteed deal. Okay. That being said, uh, does anyone stream your prog? Um, I think a few of us are planning on doing it. I think I'm going to do it myself. Um, I'm going to try streaming for once. Would hmm. you very kindly drop it? Because I would love to watch people prog it. I oh, am sure. off that week. Yeah. Not planned, but I am right. off that week, and I would I'm very much like to watch it. to close my stream, though. I stream. Uh, uh, goodbye, stream. Send me yours. Thank you for cat. coming. 